Hello and welcome to training video number three, Drawing Your Emotional Anatomy. This is a training video both in drawing and in imagination and uh, anatomy, I guess. So, from materializing our emotions into a drawing, we will get like a visual image of how our emotions look like on the inside. So, what you will need for this is a sketch with an outline of the body. This one I found just from googling body outline. Something like this. You also need color pencils of any kind. Now, for all of you that have done training video number two, Emotional Anatomy, you know what this is about. If you haven't done that, I suggest that you do that one first. But for all you lazy people out there, I, I made a quick version that you can also make if you just want to do the drawing here. It goes like this. You take your pens and you just spread them out onto the table in front of you. Well, something like this. Oops trying to make them stay. Yes, you spread them out, then you close your eyes and you think of an emotion that you want to work with today. As you think really hard about that emotion, you take your right hand and circle it over the pencils. At the same time, you take your left hand and make like a, like you're holding some kind of imagined object in your hand. Now, suddenly you just Put down the hand and you pick a color. This is the color that you will be painting with today. And you've frozen your hand. This is the shape that you will draw. Okay, you got it? Now, if you have done the emotional anatomy, you already know how your emotion looks like and what color it has. And if you do the quick version, you now have a shape and a color. So we start by drawing onto the little drawing the outline of this new organ. Now I will do joy since that was the emotion that I worked with yesterday. And I actually happen to pick the same color that I'm anyways have in joy. So you draw the outline both on the front and the back if it goes through or if it's only on one side or if it's several spots. Then you fill it in and try to remember what kind of texture it was. Like, is it completely solid or did it have some kind of hollow or is it uneven or did it have several colors of some kind or is it strong or weak or maybe you have to do like several layers or maybe you have to do several colors. Like for me, my joy is, is both green and yellow. So I fill in a little bit of yellow here too and try to be careful and really remember the capacities of your emotion if you did a lazy version you might have to need to use your imagination a little bit harder here That's a practice too. Very good. When you feel satisfied, 
just make a little number next to your emotion. Like this is now number one. And under your drawing, just write down what emotion you worked with. Voila. You have now made a visual image of your emotional anatomy. Now, as you start to do more, like have you done the practice a few times, this sheet will start to fill up and with other stuff and eventually it might start to look more like this one perhaps, where it's a lot of different emotions. Bon. So your map can look like this or like that or like something completely different. But you now know how to draw your own anatomic map. Thanks for joining me today. Have a good day.